This morning, we're hearing from the parents of a 20-year-old student who died after an alleged hazing at Ohio's Bowling Green State University. His name was Stone Foltz. He attended an off-campus initiation rite for the Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity back in March. A group of fraternity members faces criminal charges ranging from involuntary manslaughter to tampering with the evidence. Mola Lange is in Bowling Green with more on this story. Mola, it just sounds so senseless to me. What exactly happened here? Well, Gail, prosecutors say after that fraternity initiation event that you mentioned, Fultz's blood alcohol level was 0.35. That is more than four times over the legal driving limit and what prosecutors describe as catastrophic. Now, Fultz's parents told us that these charges are just their first step towards changing frat culture. For those who didn't know Stone, who was he? Tell me about him. He was the most caring individual. Any new person he met, he was always kind to them, always outgoing with them. You know, he asked about them. He always, he wanted to know, you know, their life story. And he just was a generous individual who was always looking out for others. Sherry and Corey Foltz last spoke to their 20-year-old son, Stone, shortly before a fraternity initiation ritual held in March. He had said to me, um, yeah, we have a drinking ritual that we have to go to, and I'm not looking forward to it. I don't want to do it. My response is, then don't. And he said, that's rituals. You have to do them, and that's how it is with every fraternity. Of course, I, I never thought in a million years that it was that type of ritual. Fultz consumed the equivalent of about 17 shots of alcohol. One of the men charged dropped him off at home. Prosecutors say Fultz's roommate found him and called 911. Do you see his chest rising up and down? No, not right now. Okay, and he's blue? Yeah. Okay, then he, there's a good chance he's not breathing. Fultz was taken to the hospital and placed on life support. He died three days later. We have two other children. We don't have time to grieve. We have to stay strong. Prosecutors indicted eight current and former Bowling Green State University students on a total of 17 felonies and 25 misdemeanors. Obviously, we can't bring Stone back, um, but we are appreciative that they're headed in the right direction to bring peace and justice for Stone. What does peace and justice look like? To us, it's to, you know, hold those accountable for what has happened because, you know, the fraternity hazing that's going on, it's unacceptable. It truly is abuse. It's the parents' worst nightmare. Now, Fultz's parents are pushing for a bill here in the state of Ohio that would make fraternity hazing a felony and hopefully end it once and for all. Meanwhile, the fraternity has been permanently banned from campus, and prosecutors say even more charges could be coming. Tony. Mola, thank you very much. It is a parent's worst nightmare. Oh, yes. It makes me think, guys, of the Piazza case. You remember Jim and Evelyn Piazza about their son, Timothy, yeah, yeah. where this is happening. You know, we keep reporting on it. We keep telling it. But these kids feel such peer pressure to go it, yes. to do it. Here, Stone's telling his yeah. family, I don't want to do it. Yeah, to do it. Well, I mean, it's not okay. Losing your child under any circumstance is horrible. To lose your son this way, I can't even imagine. Maybe. So preventable. So, so unnecessary. unnecessary. Yeah, exactly the word. Yep. All right. Mola, thanks again. So sorry.